Good morning lovely friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. I'm going to work on this design team project for Creating with Jovi. Again, her, all her links will be down in the description box, so if you want to check out the kit or her other kits that she has available, she has some really, really super sweet kits available. Um, or check her out on Instagram, YouTube, all those things, they're all down in the description box. Sorry, I felt like I said that super fast. Let's try and just bring the, the level down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to continue working on this project using the Coffee Time Digital Kit from Creating with Jovi. So if you didn't catch the uh, first video on this, I started decorating this journal. I made the journal off camera because I hadn't done a concertina journal before. Uh, super happy with how it turned out and now I'm just playing with the ephemera that came with the kit and adding in you know pockets journal cards etc so all the papers in here are from the kit bar the front and back cover which are scrapbook paper and then there's a couple of bits of coffee dyed paper one at the beginning and one at the end so other than that it's all from the coffee time digital kit and they're super fun really if you're into coffee then this is your journal i also have my big travel cup of coffee so i'll be sipping that as we go along today how can you not work on a coffee journal without a cup of coffee at your side right so what i've done in preparation for this video is i've gone through uh, my ephemera bases ones that aren't complete and popped in a few options here and there that I thought would work. So I've got this tool tag in here. And why not start with this one? It does need trimming down. So I'm going to I think go under that first line of text. Looks to be about good. Let's line it up-ish. So I hope you're all doing well today, guys. We're heading rapidly towards the end of the week once again like where are the days going it's just it's so weird how fast the time's going i mean i guess i have spent mm, around three months not able to do a heck of a lot due to surgery um this is already back so that's good um but you know it's it's like that's time has still gone quick even though I've been largely stuck on a couch um, I'm just trying to think what I might want to decorate this up with there's this really cool sort of marbly piece that we could tear down out of the kit so all this pile of ephemera at my side here is all out of the kit and I've done all the fussy cutting so you don't need to sit through that. Okay, I'm just going to start throwing some bits down. I've got no real plan on how this is going. Um, I might have to dive in and grab a few other bits and pieces. I don't know. But let's just play. Let's have fun today. I'm feeling like a bit of fun. I was out all day yesterday and I did a lot of fussy cutting. Not for this kit, but for one of my other design teams. Still got more to go. There's uh, no shortage of fussy cutting to be done, that's for sure. Um, don't want it to be meeting the other piece. So let's see, see what we can do. Yep, that looks good. I don't want that straight edge on the bottom either. So tiny little scraps. Might be able to use those yet, so we'll just pop those to the side. Yes, I'm liking this so far. I haven't printed off any extra of the kit pages to use for collage, and I really should have. But while it's a beautiful day, it's very sunshiny. Um, it was a cold start, so the office with the computer in it is really cold. And I'm not ready to go in there yet. I've turned the heater on, but like I won't be heading in until there till later this afternoon when it's warmed up a bit. So I didn't really feel like going in there and 
printing off any extra pages this morning and I am late filming this in the day it's almost lunchtime and I please excuse my fingernails um, this nail polish is definitely not as good as the other brand that I used um, so it is chipping and it started chipping like two days after I put it on which is not bad like that's okay but also I've been playing with mixed media so I've got glue and paint and stuff on my nails so I'm glad I didn't um, redo them this morning because they just would have been trashed and that would have been just really annoying I like that there that's super fun I might just do the top first so I'm not um, trimming off bits that I don't want to trim off so let's cut it into a tag shape so just cut whatever angle you like flip it over onto the other side line it up on the corner just in case there's any new people out there who don't know this trick and then cut along that line and you get a fairly good even shape for the, your tag so I like that it's got a fairly dark edge but I'm just going to add a bit of ink yes you can actually tell you might not tell on camera but I can tell with my eye that it does make a difference even though it's got a dark background all the coffee beans I'm just going to pop that down this is one of the beauties of working with ephemera that's designed to work together is you can confidently put it down and know everything's going to work together and then you can add other bits and pieces in to customize it and make it your own so if you know even if we only ever work with a digital kit no two journals would ever turn out the same unless someone was like deliberately copying move for move and that would be pretty difficult um, to do here's a cute little coffee grinder just trying to cover up some of the words um, like it's got the word harsh down here well I don't really want harsh um, we've also got a blank space here do a ticket to sit the coffee grinder on um, is that the right color though we could use a stamp instead it's a Guatemalan stamp and then sit the coffee grinder on top of the stamp I'm liking that I like how these overlap do I want it on an angle that's actually kind of fun so it's not really sitting on the stamp but just kind of overlapping as well I like that it gives a sense of movement okay I'm going with that this doesn't need inking because it has a black border so we'll just pop that on as is so I'm really enjoying this journal it's quite different to the mouse travels one that I did for my last creating with Jovi design team although some of the similar colors but the um, mouse travels one had greens and pinks and blues and things in it whereas this one is largely browns in the brown family there is a hint of a pinky brown um, oh that's quite a sweet image on the back there maybe we'll pop that one aside to dry and salvage that image for something um, so yeah this is largely in the browns so everything sort of coffee dyed tea dyed look to it which I don't mind at all oops that's not the way I had it I had it this way go and I didn't ink I forgot to ink it never mind I left a white border around this deliberately uh, one because of this fine bit of the handle to give that a little bit more strength while it was just sort of floating around um, but also it makes it more sticker like and I quite like that effect as well 
I think that's all that needs. We could add a word um, if we wanted to, or a little quote. Some of these are quite long though, so I think they're probably a bit big for our little tag here. And we've got the word coffee here anyway, so let's just leave it as is. We could add some coffee rings or splatters with a stamp or a stencil. Um, maybe I do want to do that. And I'm thinking about do I want a topper on this tag. I think I do, but what sort of topper is the question. Need to do the back of this tag as well. So I hadn't done it. So this is backed with um, brown paper from a paper pad. It's really lovely paper. Um, my local shop was stocking it and I haven't seen it there for months, which makes me super sad because I always thought maybe I should buy a second pad of it and it's like, no, no, that they keep getting it in so it's all good and now they don't have it and it's been months so I should have I should have bought another pad of it right so what sort of topper we could use fabric um, ooh, reaching over for a little stack of fabric that I have here so we've got a few brown pieces in here. What might we like? This is quite a cute little square. It's probably still too big. Wouldn't that be cute, actually, if we did a square and folded it over like that, almost like a little bandana? I'm not going to do that, but that's just an idea that came to me as I was fiddling around with a bit of fabric. So I think I'm just going to do this in half get rid of those excess strings is it gonna come off come away at the bottom no it doesn't look like it's wanting to fray at the bottom but we can take some off the side I like to take some off the side just to give that sort of fluffy edge adds a little extra detail and if it's going to fray it's less likely to fray because we've already taken those side bits off still want to see if I can get this top bit ah there we go isn't this fascinating viewing watching me pull strings from a tiny bit of fabric there we go maybe some more from this end Yeah, and I do it more though, um, not so much for the fraying aspect, but because I like the, the fluffy little edge. And if one's fluffy, I like them all to be fluffy. And I'm just going to actually staple that on, I think. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue just to hold it in place. So I'm not fighting with it. There, and a little bit over here and so that's not to hold it permanently it's just while I staple it just to keep it in place grab my stapler very carefully because I upended my container of pins in the bin that I hold stationary things like this in and the pins obviously and they're all running around in the container now so I've got to be careful that I don't jab myself with a hundred pins sometime I will take everything out and clean it up and put them back where they should be but that's not how they are right now okay so we have a tag to go in this pocket did this in case you didn't see the video I did this in the last video with um, a scrapbook pad paper pad and then this little piece from the kit, which I just backed and added some coffee ring stamps to out of the coffee time kit. OK, 
Okay, and this uh, scrapbook paper pad that that came out of, and this cover is called Brutiful Day. And I can't remember the brand, but there we go. Um, so the next bit we had was this bit. I thought I made this. Um, was it like yeah, it was last year in the oh, what was it called? Whole book challenge, or was it earlier this year? I cannot remember, but I've got a whole lot of bases that I made during that month long challenge, which I uh, did videos for a video for. Or did I do two? I think I did two. Um, that I still haven't done anything with, and so I thought this would make a cool tip in so we can have it flip out. We can have some writing space on the back, we can still see our beautiful digital page, and then we've got a couple of pockets that we can fill with things. So let's work on this for a bit. I'm just going to pop the journal aside and I'm going to play. So first off, actually I probably should back it first. That is probably a good idea. Um, is this wide enough? It is. This is just packaging paper. Um, I'm going to do glue stick in the middle and then I'm going to run around the outside with my tacky glue. This is my preferred way when I'm dealing with a large surface. And quite often I will do the glue stick and then pop this on or whatever I'm gluing down. First so that the glue doesn't dry on me. Because you know, there's nothing more frustrating than covering something with glue. And then before you can get your piece glued down it's dry. And I have got the fire going so that's a distinct possibility. And then I go round lifting up the edges back to where the glue is because you can feel the resistance when it's glued down and hit the edges with my tacky glue so a fine nozzle is perfect for this and then ease that down and I work my way just making sure that glue gets right out to the edge work my way around the whole piece and I actually do this for smaller bits as well just depending on my mood And there it, my glue doesn't dry before I can get things stuck down. So one more side to do. So I just find this actually quite easy and less messy. So I'm not using so many glue pages than I would have if I was uh, covering the whole thing with glue stick. Okay, make sure it's oh, just about missed because I did not realise I hadn't stuck it down straight at all. Um, but that's okay, it's all good. Now do I want to tear it or cut it? Hmm. I think I'll just cut it just because I've already got the scissors in my hand so throw this little bit out oops oh well close to the rubbish bin is good enough isn't it and I'll keep this larger bit because that can be used for collage or something. You might even end up putting it on the front of this, this piece actually. That's a good colour for a coffee themed journal. So this piece that I'm working on is book pages obviously. Um, three book pages from a reader's digest one at the back and then there's another one that's had the corner folded down and then the top one which has had the corner folded down even further to create your two pockets super easy and then just glued glued around and obviously i've already inked this before i glued it together which was very very good 
Okay, let's grab out the scrap that I cut off. And I'm feeling like I want some torn edges. I don't want all those straight edges. So let's do a bit of tearing. Make it ready to use. Get those. What if we put just a strip along the bottom like that? Again, there's words here that I want to cover up. Uh, which side do I want? I think I'll do that side. And the glue is going to iron out all these creases pretty much. nice like that I was also eyeing up this guest check out of the kit so I've got um, alarm yeah just just some words that I don't really want left on my piece something like that so I'll be trimming off actually I'm going to try and do that now Actually, tearing I think is going to be the easiest way and that will give me the angle so when I glue it down I'll have the angle already sorted for where to place it whoops sorry about that dropped the ruler my uh, desk is a glass top so if it doesn't go on the mat anything or the um, even the blue plastic it still can be quite noisy because it's thin um, anything that goes directly on the glass top is does tend to make quite a noise especially if it's metal like the ruler get rid of those crumbs okay let's glue this down I'm just having fun, just picking up a piece and seeing if I want to use it and laying it down, working out where I want it. So I'm not composing it and then gluing it down, uh, which is probably the most usual way I do things. But because I'm working with bits that are all themed to go together, I'm not so worried about doing the composition first. Right, I need to bring that up because I want this corner off. I'm going to trim that off. I could wrap it round but that's going to be where we hinge it to our page so that would just add more bulk to where the hinge is going. Right what else have we got? We could use one of these words. Oh I like that. And then Do we see anything here that we need to cover up? It's not too bad, but I want to add a like a different texture, different colour, maybe some sheet music. Let's grab a little piece of sheet music. Just for layering. Again, I think I want to just, I don't know if that's the right angle. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. So I'm going to ink around that. Yes, almost lunchtime here, 10 minutes to lunchtime, so we're not doing too bad for the video. Um, I've got another video to record today for Patreon, so I know what I'm going to be doing for that. Um, so that's helpful, so I'll do that this afternoon. 
I am supposed to have a friend come around to see me. I'm not sure when she's coming. So hopefully she's not trying to contact me while my phone's on Do Not Disturb. Because that would be a bit awkward. Um, yeah, so it's, I think it's going to be quite a good productive day. Uh, there are some other bits and pieces. Coffee pot. Oh, the coffee pot's fun. I do like the coffee pot. Okay, let's go to the coffee pot. Get up the edging. And give this an edge as well. So this says, today's good mood is inspired by coffee. I don't know if my good mood is inspired by coffee today, but it's certainly being kept company by coffee. So it was nice to have a day out um, yesterday, because I haven't had a lot of those late, lately. Um, but kind of getting back into the swing of things now. Going out on Friday, I'll be out again all day. I have a family lunch to go to which I'm really looking forward to because I haven't been able to go to them for a few months or a couple of months at least. Uh, let's see, June, July, two months, two months I missed. Um, or did I miss May as well? I may have ended up missing May. Yes, I did. Um, so yeah, three months I've missed and it would be nice to Go and see all the extended, well not all of them, um, some of the, the ones that go, extended family. I've got one cousin that's normally there, but she's away on holiday um, at the moment in Australia. So I miss out catching up with her. But I've got some other lovely cousins that I'll catch up with. And an uncle, and then some others that I don't know so well, but it's it's good to connect with those that I don't know so well and build that relationship um, because none of us are getting any younger and we're finding that the ones who always promoted the family gatherings there's not many of them left now which is really sad uh, so we or as a family we're trying to just maintain those connections do you want to add a ticket here Just like a montage of bits, I think is fun. Just wondering whether I want to put anything up here. Um, we got anything else I can maybe tear a bit off of. We do have some stamps. Whoops, not upside down though. I don't think I want the stamp and the ticket. Unless I would like to overlay them like that. Which I quite like, but that leaves me with that kind of like stands out to me. Um, so let's grab a little bit of different book page and see if we can do something. Just a little very crunchy this paper oh no we're not going to put that there completely destroyed when the destroyer rammed them blue yeah that's not so happy is it and then on this side we have war okay maybe not that scrap <laughs> let's see if we can find something that um, is not so Maybe this bit. This bit talks about weather. I think I think we can go with weather. <laughs> that was a close call. I mean, war is... Here we go. Hot but pleasant. 
that sounds much better, doesn't it? Yeah, that sounds much better. I'm just going to... And it's just a different size text, a different font. I'm not going to ink around it because I don't want it to, you know, stand out so much. I'm going to start there. And then do I want to go stamp or ticket or ticket and stamp together? Um, there are more, whoops, there are more tickets. I'm just wondering whether one of the other tickets might work better. Because like this blue is quite different to this blue. Yeah, I think I like that better. And we, we could still add the stamp if we wanted to. Yeah, why not? Let's put the stamp on as well. Fiddling around forever. Oh, I'm getting hungry, guys. Yep, it's three minutes to twelve. Three minutes to lunchtime. Not that I typically eat, like, right on the dot of twelve or anything. Not normally. I just have lunch when I'm ready. But I am feeling hungry. So, I probably haven't drunk enough of my coffee. That could do it, you know. So I should rectify that and have a sip of my coffee. Just a nice little montage of bits and pieces there. I also want to deal with this back piece. I'm um, just going to check my phone as well, make sure my friend's not trying to message me. Because um, that would be very rude. No, it's all good. It's all good. Just thought I'd check. Only takes a second to check. Mmm, good guzzle of coffee there. Right, what would I like to pop in here just to decorate that? There's this little piece, which I haven't cut out yet because I want to do it with my uh, decal. Actually, that looks quite pretty up there. Let's just cut it out with my, you know, my fancy, fancy edge scissors because it's got a little torn look. I thought I'm not going to go and cut it straight when it's, you know, got a fun edge to it let's maintain that edge as much as possible it's not going to be exactly the same but just makes it more fun and tell you what these are really easy to use if you're not trying to keep a straight line This is going to look really good inked up. All those jiggity jaggedy bits. So I will let you all know too that I am in a collaboration for Rach, Rach and Bella Crafts. Uh, the video will go up on 1st of September, which will probably be the 2nd of September my time here in New Zealand. Um, and I will probably... So it will be a Saturday, kind of like a bonus video. Uh, it's called Be Summer Inspired, a collaboration. Um, so just to let you know that's coming up and to look out for that. I am looking forward to it. I'm busy, you know, every day I'm thinking about my project, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it and all that sort of jazz. So when that video does come out, it will have all the list of the collaborators. Um... There's some really 
big names in there, popular names, Gail Agostinelli, uh, her video actually came out, I watched her video this morning for the collaboration, um, Rachel Bella of course, videos, and then some new people to me who have actually been around a wee while but I didn't know, so like G. Kerr, um, I can't remember all the names but there'll be, all those details will be in that video anyway so I don't need to worry about remembering but yeah super fun and there's some wonderful projects coming out of it you should check out the the playlist which you can find on Rachel Bella's channel Rachel Bella crafts awesome ideas I've been so inspired already um, and I hope that I'm able to inspire others the way I've been inspired and I need something down there I'm just looking at this bit in here now. I think that bit's okay. I'm just going to pop that there, you know. Why not? That's quite fun. It's a wagon loaded up with um, all someone's furniture and bits and pieces. Old old uh, American West style. But I like the colour of that wagon and the red. I might have to keep that picture as well. I, I'm sure I can find a way to use it. Even if it's just in my personal journal. Because I like the colour. <laughs> as well. It's really catching my eye and appealing. Right. So that's in there. And that could actually, you know, you could put a, a little bit of writing in there as well too if you wanted. Now I just want something down here too. Um, we do have this little coffee ring piece be quite fun just to pop in there yeah let's do that um, I may have to print off this ephemera kit again because I'm using it with abandon another beauty of digital kits is you can print it as often as you like and you can use multiple bits multiple ways there we go I just think that's rather cute and maybe a little bit of I should have done it before I stuck it down can I get in there just grime it up a bit it's a bit difficult I've got some of it but that's okay just took away some of that white okay another quick sip of or guzzle really of my coffee so all we've got to do with this now is make all we've got to do is make a couple of pieces for there and hinge it into the journal which will be in on this page so we're still going to have all this prettiness but we're going to have even more writing space on the back which that needs inking let me do that before I forget I'm doing it off camera just to so I don't get the sponge crumbs on the journal here not that it would overly matter because if I've got ink streaks it'd just be like spilt coffee wouldn't it really but anyway trying to be a tidy kiwi over here you wouldn't believe that if you looked around where I'm filming, but thankfully you can't see any of that. <laughs> right, so I think I'll go ahead and tip that in, and then I can make the ephemera at some stage. I won't be doing a start to finish. Oops, I've got stuff stuck to my fingernails. Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'll do all the ephemera on camera, because uh, I've got a lot to do. And if I just did it on camera, then I wouldn't get that enough done. Okay, so how am I going to tip it in? I could use washi tape, which would be um, fine. But I'm actually thinking about making a hinge. So I do have this piece from the scrapbooking card from the cutter parts. It's too wide for this journal, so I wouldn't... Or any journal really it's too wide for so I wouldn't use 
yeah I wouldn't use it as a piece as is so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim down this to the edge of the pink and it will have a bit of gold on it I don't mind that it's just a little bit of extra decoration there we go I'm going to ink around it because I didn't get all the white off then when I cut it so let's take care of that with some ink and tie it in with the coffee theme and I'm going to fold the design into the middle so it's on the inside the white's not going to be seen it's quite as it's cardstock so it's a little bit tricky on the small size to fold it straight and that's not straight gosh it's gonna be a dog's breakfast yeah I think it's not quite straight at this end. Oops. Gosh. There. I think we got there. I think that's good. Okay. Now, if this was the same height as the bit that I'm tipping in, then I'd angle the corners so they don't show. But this is shorter, and it's still going to be fine. So I'm going to make sure I put it on the right side, which is this side I'm gonna, sorry I was off camera then getting too relaxed in my chair need to put it that so that the folded side is going to be right against that edge actually slightly over it Just, just by a hair so that when it folds out it doesn't bind up and I'm just going to take the sponge and run that so it's not like really white showing on the edge and I'm just going to glue the other side flap so the beauty of this type of hinge is it's more sturdy than washi tape and if you don't want washi tape like showing on the other side of the page or anything then um, it avoids that so again I'm gonna oops <laughs> I'm just trying to position it so it's just slightly over that edge there we go so when it flips out it doesn't catch along the edge of the page so you've got a tiny wee gap if you can see it um, tiny wee gap at the top and bottom there where it's past the page Oops. Make sure that sticks down properly and then we've got a fun decorative hinge in there and we've got two pockets to fill and we've got writing space on the back and then we've still got all this writing space and it's relatively flat like it will bulk up with journal cards obviously but it's still fairly flat okay I think I'm going to call it a day there uh, how are we doing on time yeah we're at three quarters of an hour so I think that's that's a good time to um, end this video off thanks so much for joining me today I really appreciate you keeping me company I hope your day is going well and I hope the rest of your week is goes well as well. Take care and I shall see you back really soon. Bye.